Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. We mentioned Lion baseball earlier in the program, and now we're going to let you meet one of those future Lions who will be on the team here in 2013. And a name that has been familiar with Southeastern baseball the last few years was Jacob Fisher. Well, now we meet his younger brother, Jamison Fisher. He's a catcher. He wears number 23 for the Lions. He came to Southeastern by way of Zachary High School, and his last name is Fisher. But no, former Lion defensive standout Jacob Fisher is not back for another season, but his younger brother is. Meet Jamison Fisher. Jamison's a freshman this fall, and he can play catcher and infield for the 2013 Southeastern baseball team, proving that Lion coach J.R. Teagues knows how to keep it in the family. But even with family ties, Jamison was a little nervous his first day on the field. Going into it, I was didn't know how they were going to accept me and everything, how it was for freshmen. But by far, from what I've heard from other players at different colleges, by far this is one of the best experiences as far as a team accepting you in as a family. And it's just been a lot of fun to start off with, and it's a lot of competition. And it's just I really like it a lot. You know, we talk a lot about family here, and, and that's a great example of it. You know, we had Jacob Fisher, who was one of the most enjoyable guys to coach, tremendous catcher for us, two-year starter, did a tremendous job behind the plate. You know, now having his little brother step into that role as a true freshman, and he's going to be wearing the same number, 23. So some fans may be seeing Fish and thought he graduated. You know, but Jameson's a different style player, hits from the left side, can really, really swing it. He was drafted by the Cubs out of high school. Uh, he's got a chance to put up some tremendous numbers, and he's going to go down as one of the greatest all-time Southeastern players by the time his career is over. Jameson, a four-year letter winner for Zachary High School, hit 554 for the Bronx as a senior, with 14 doubles, 7 triples, and 38 runs batted in. Jameson was drafted in the 24th round of the 2012 Major League Baseball draft, but he knew Southeastern was the right fit for him, despite the fact he's following another Fisher. But he's followed Jacob before. Some big shoes to fill, definitely when it comes to leadership roles, and the brother was definitely a big leader. He was a big part of the team as far as on the field goes as well. So it's always a, it's fun to continue his tradition because I got to do the same thing back in high school whenever I was, because he graduated a year before I started high school, so I got to do the same thing there as I'm going to get to do here. So it's pretty exciting to do that. When Jameson was ready to report for the fall semester, he leaned on his older brother for some advice. He told me a lot of things. He told me just to, just not to be bashful, to go out here and just give it everything you got and just try to be a leader that you are, that you were in high school, not to hold anything back from the get-go and that these guys are going to take you in. So don't take anything for granted. Give it everything you got and enjoy it. Like I said, Jamison picked Southeastern over playing in the Cubs organization, but every player dreams of playing in the pros, so the decision to come to Southeastern didn't come easy. But once the decision was made, Jamison knew it felt right. feeling of knowing that this was right. And just following my brother. He already set out here and had things going for him so I could follow in his footsteps. And I just knew it would be a good chemistry and a good start for me. And with 37 players on the fall roster, Coach Artigues wishes he had a few more Fishers. Yeah, I wish I could take credit for that, but I can't. You know, his mom and dad have done a tremendous job raising those two. It's, that's a great family, I tell you. And anytime you get kids like that, well, you know they're going to be an asset to you, both in the classroom, in the community, and on the field. You know, it just makes their best around them better. They class individuals from a tremendous family. Another guy creating a lot of buzz in fall practice is Alabama native Aaron Haig. Haig comes to Hammond after two years in community college, and the 6'4 first baseman has a lot of pop in his bat. You know, Aaron's a tremendous athlete. You know, he's a big kid, and you see him, you don't realize how athletic he is. He can steal some bases, hit the ball to all fields, but he's got serious pop in his bat, you know, something we've been missing. And he's going to bring that legitimate three, four hole type power hitter. You know, I expect him to hit at least double digit home runs here. He's already has four in the early part of the fall. You know, and he's going to be a guy that's a threat to hit a three run homer anytime he comes up to the plate. And having that guy in the lineup, Makes everybody around him a little bit better. Yeah, if you look close enough, you'll see that, yes, that is indeed former Lion and Southeastern all-time hits leader, Cass Harges. Harges joins the Lions as a volunteer assistant coach, and after a year away from the program, Cass is happy to be back home. Uh, it's fun. You know, you get a different look on things when you do it from the coaching side, but this is a place I call home, you know, and I, I got the opportunity to come back, and I couldn't say no to it, and I've enjoyed it since I took over. You know, anytime you hire former former players as assistant coaches, it makes my job easy because they know what I want on the field. They can kind of relate to the guys, communicate to the players. So when they, when, you know, sometimes when players don't understand something, it's easy for them to put their arm around and say, hey, I've been where you are. I understand what he's trying to tell you, what he's getting across. And that makes it a little bit easier. And they understand our system frontwards and backwards, and sometimes they know what I'm about to say before I say it. The Lions will continue fall practice and hold their fall bash banquet on October 20th. 
you know, having those former players come back, it's really great to see them mess with the community, mess with the alumni. It's just a great fun, it's a great atmosphere to raise a lot of money for our program. And it does it in a way that everybody wants to come back because last year nobody wanted to leave. So hopefully it's the same atmosphere this year. For ticket info on the bash, please call the baseball office at area code 985-549-3566. Thanks, Damon. A very unique story as a brother comes right in after his older brother to play here at Southeastern wearing the green and gold. That's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for joining us on the Southeastern Sports Report. And remember, you can always stay current with your lines at lionsports.net, a completely interactive website. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.